Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a looping, a seamless looping, infinitely looping background just like this. You'll see here that I've got a standard image in the background, but I've got it looping, in this case for 10 seconds. I'll show you how to do this step by step, follow along with me. All right, so the first step, we need to import the images that we're going to be using. In this case, I'm going to go into my finder. I'm going to grab these two images and I'm just going to drag and drop them in to the project panel. The next step is I'm going to go ahead and grab this one here. It's labeled Forest Ranger. If you're following along, use any image you'd like, drag and drop it on top of the new composition. And you'll see here we have a static image. Excellent. Now grab a second image. This is optional, but I just want to show you the effect. I'm going to put this little uh, weird little bulldog that's holding a graph for no apparent reason. I'm going to put him in the shot too, and I'll put him down here so you can see the loop. Okay, now we need to create a composition. Let me show you how to do that. All right, so the next step is I'm gonna go back to this Forest Ranger JPG. I'm going to right click on it and then I'm gonna select new comp from selection. I'm gonna create a second composition and it's just gonna default label it Forest Ranger 2. Now this is the one that I wanna work on and I wanna get it moving. Easy to do, go to your effects and presets panel. It's located right here on the right side for me. If you don't see it, Go to Window, make sure there's a check mark beside Effects and Presets. Now, in this little search bar, type in Motion and then Space Tile. It's an effect called Motion Tile. It's under Stylize. I'm going to drag and drop that in on top of the image. And out of the box, it does nothing not to panic. No worries. Move the playhead to the beginning or wherever you want the motion to start. In this case, I want it to start at the beginning. And then up at the top left, you'll see under the effect controls panel, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to click the stopwatch beside tile center. So I'm going to turn that on. That makes keyframes. And I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this little checkbox that says mirror images. Okay, or mirror edges, pardon me, not mirror images. Mirror edges. Now, with the check with the playhead at the beginning, I'm going to move the playhead to the end where I want it to stop. And then watch this. Depending on the direction that you want your loop or your motion, I'm just going to pull this to the right. But if I wanted this to go up and down, I would pull it up and down just like that. But I'm going to keep pulling it to the right, and I'm going to hold the shift key down so it does it a fair bit. And then let's just go to say something like that. This will be a pretty fast motion, but that's okay. So watch this. I'm going to move it back. And now I'm going to hit play. I'm going to hit space bar. And you'll see here, I've got infinite motion or an infinite loop on this here. So this is our second composition. So I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to go back to my first composition that we created at the beginning. And it's a piece of cake. All you got to do really is just go here. Grab this one here, Forest Ranger 2, or your second composition. Move it down here to the bottom. And then I've still got the bully on top. I've got Forest Ranger 2. And then I've got our original image, which we're not even going to use. And then watch this. Here we go. This is an infinite loop. It has no seams at the edges because we clicked Mirror Edges. And this is all there is to it. Thanks for watching. 